I bring greetings to you, to all respected presbyters, deacons, catechists, lay leaders, our youths, our women, our children, all the individuals and the family. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. St. John's Gospel, chapter 20, and from verse 1, it starts with a beautiful story. It says, Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. She came running to Simon Peter and to the other disciples, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have put him. Hearing this word, the Peter and the other disciple, they started running towards the tomb. They went to the tomb. They saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the clothes that had been wrapped around Jesus. Had the cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. The disciples, they examined the tomb and they left quietly. Now Mary stood outside the tomb, still crying. As she wept, she went over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels, white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the feet. They asked her, Women, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was just only a gardener, Mary said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him. I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and to your God. This sister message is full of hope. In the midst of COVID-19 pandemic, Friend Easter or the resurrection of Jesus stressed the message of hope and Easter after months of crisis. Someone asked me, has coronavirus killed the Easter? My answer was, no. Yes, we have never experienced a crisis quite like this before. But yes, we have so many fears, unemployment, loneliness, hunger, poverty, violence, safety of our loved one, and the list can go on. Of course, the greatest fear of all from this virus is the fear of death. But the message of Easter is that death has been conquered. There is hope because God sent Jesus into our world. So from death and devastation, new life and hope is emerging. As we come to Easter this year, we are conscious of all those who are affected by the catastrophic and unprecedented events in the whole world. We Christians believe that through his life and ministry, Jesus identifies with and comes along to, alongside us in our suffering. And offer, he offer comforts to us. He love and heal in all we are going through. In these times of crisis and trauma, we stand with each other journeying and struggling together through the long road ahead. In the midst of grief, we see emerging sign of hope and sign of new life. We have been through many plagues before. Some have been devastating, but eventually 
they all have passed. After Good Friday comes Easter. After the tomb comes new life. These issues of the day point of the greatest issues of all time. The Son of God had walked on this earth and he defeated sin, he defeated death and today he came to life. My dear friends, the message of Easter is that that the crucified and the dead Jesus had been resurrected. Mary Magdalene and disciples have experienced his resurrection. The angels have testified asking Mary not to search the living in the midst of the dead. Bible says that everything under the sun has been handed in the hand of Jesus. We as Christian now we have a responsibility to carry this message that Jesus is living. He is a living God. It is our duty and our responsibility and God he cared for us. He shared his only son Jesus to us. This is our duty to share Jesus with everybody to bring hope in God to bring hope in Jesus. Let us bring many to God fold many who have not heard as Jesus asked his disciple go and tell people that I live today our responsibility to tell the whole world Jesus is alive Jesus is living he is with us he is Emmanuel God what a fantastic message of Easter may the resurrected Christ continue to be with you continue to with all world have a blessed Easter God bless you thank you